last week. He missed the first gate from memory. Uh, and uh, once you miss the first gate, it makes the rest of your run very difficult. Let's see if he can put it down this week. Tim Anderson from Australia. In Australia, they're sitting up late watching their man on the water. It's uh, just gone past midnight, I think, in Australia. So well and truly past. Oh, what's happening there? Did he touch that or is that... Yes, he did. He did. I can't see. Oh, Tim Anderson really trying to cut some corners here. He's a very fast paddler. He really knows how to throw the boat around. He's very much from the Lucian Delfour school of risk taking. So at the moment, that gate touch is the big difference. Without that gate touch, he'd almost be on level pegging with Noah Hege, who sits at the top of the leaderboard. What has Anderson got? That's a good move. Now, can he stay out of that stopper? Oh, no. No, he can't. So that saps your energy, getting across there to that gate. So unfortunately for Tim Anderson, and another touch, that was an obvious touch for Tim Anderson. So that's four seconds for Tim Anderson. They are looking again at gate 14. It looked very strange to me. I... It almost looked like the gate was moving before he went through it. So I'm not sure what happened, but um, the judges will be in a position to make a ruling on that. But uh, Tim Anderson's time slipping away there. No, no final for Tim Anderson this afternoon. A lot of review.